receiving this game three from day three of the World Cup here in Japan. And that's the perfect start for the USA. Well, for China, it's the worst possible start for the USA. A shank pass. A nervy start for the USA. Good up. Unfortunately for Zheng Chenning, she was just off balance, couldn't get the ball back over the net. Incidentally, Zheng Chenning is a former beach player from 2010 to 2012. She played on the World Tour and then transferred indoors. And only actually missed out on the World Championships because China had to put a team into the Asian Games and she went there instead. Coach Zheng Ping would have liked to have had her at the World Champs. The only other player that I know of who's come from the beach and then gone indoors to represent their country is in the men's game. Nikol Kolodinsky for Russia, earning a, his first cap for the national team in the World League this year. After playing a few seasons on the beach for Russia and doing very well as well with some uh, gold medals on the World Tour. If you know of any others, let us know. You can tweet hashtag FIVBWW Cup. If you're aware of any other players that started on the beach but have ended up playing indoors. Plenty of players went from indoors to the beach. That was pretty much how it went. So the USA, after that nervy start, find themselves 3-1 up. Kim Hill with the serve. is what China are all about. Zhu Ting, just phenomenal. What a swing from the 20-year-old. That's a mistake from Larson. We're looking for a touch, and here comes challenge. And I said the champ referee was going to be busy. Six points in, and he's already got some work to do. As uh, Mr. Javali. That is the man who is the challenge ref. Was there a touch? Yes, of course there was. Huge touch. Dietzen, no serve, surprised, maybe surprised a few, maybe not, that uh, she gets the start ahead of Tatori Dixon through the middle. And that's a good serve. Well, the one thing China were worried about was their serve reception. And the USA making things difficult. Speed, be quick from uh, Akinradawo. Interesting serve action, isn't it, from uh, Dietzen. She throws that ball up her hands and really tight into her face. She doesn't have any room to operate. Still gets a serve over, and uh, Castelo gets a massive confidence booster with that swing. 6-2 down, not the start China wanted, and they call timeout.
Nicely done by the uh, captain for China, Chen Chunye. Well, that puts the setter now back to serve for China. Chen Jingxi, big front row for the team in blue. Nice wipe by Caster Low. the line from Su Ting, she's got all the skills, now she has the serve. Good linkage between Glass and Akin Redewo. Technical timeout, USA will be pretty pleased with the way this one has gone so far, they lead by four. Nice speed, USA, that's how we spread them out. Uh, still line open, way to work that line, hand there, way to go fast on that. Uh, what do we have, Jamie, what do we have coming up here? Uh, yeah, USA! USA! pressure on him. You're good on that. She rarely hits line on the red, if that's what you were asking. Or were you asking about the pass? Yeah, on number eight. On number eight. It's uh, interesting, wasn't it? Karch talking about uh, rarely hits line on the red, talking about that uh, shot from Zhu Ting that she just hit down the line, and they're saying that's not a worry, don't have to get caught up in that. She rarely hits it, so it's not a consideration for us, and that's what volleyball's about. You have to kind of go with the percentages to a degree. Every now and again, you might decide, you know what, we're going to go for this on this particular play because there's a chance it might happen. China with the side out. Yan Ni. Good ball in from Hill. And a great put away. So Glass is linking up nicely with her attackers. She's used Daki Madewa, she's used Hill, and uh, she's also used Low. Well, she's got a chance to uh, work with Dietzen across the front row. She'll be keen to get that middle link established. Good touch from Dietzen. And again. Not such a great hit from Lowe, just leaning towards her right. Away from the ball. So unforced error from the USA, hands China the point. Good ball in from Banois, just not such good. Footwork though from Glass, putting herself under pressure. And it's a solid transition play from China to bring themselves back to within two. USA might think about the timeout here. Whether or not their take one is another thing. Coach Kirai decides to uh, let it ride for the moment. Good decision. Hill puts the ball away. USA back to three in front. And into a solid series of rotations as well, Nick. Nice high contact right about the top of the antenna from Hill. Glass to serve. Castello into the front row with Hill and Dietzen. Pretty much their tallest lineup. That can't stop. 
China from putting the ball away down the line. Xiang Chan Ning. Lovely swing. Good cover. Nice up from Banwa. Larson trying to make it difficult for China. And now USA will have a better chance potentially, but there's no one at four, has to go behind, and Lowe can only tip that one. And China take advantage in the end. Well, USA scrambled really well, but they got themselves all stuck over on that near side of the court to the first official. No one able to run a route at four, no one able to run a route in the middle on the pipe. And China eventually took control of that rally. Uh, something that the USA have been developing a little bit like Korea stacking over on that side which allows uh, Lowe to come in as the opposite player and hit a half ball through the middle taking the uh, four hitter all the way over to four instead of being at two with the setter to penetrate around behind watch out for that again on the next series of rotations when they get there that's right onto the baseline Larson putting it away She had line to go as well, if she wanted it. A mm, bit of a wild swing from uh, Chung Ning. Well, it's good to see that the way the USA have responded to their defeat against Serbia come out here knowing that they have to win this one really already so early on in this tournament which is a rain robin event 11 matches to play china currently undefeated but it's the usa who are holding their own here keeping this lead in the first set nice side out by uh, yuan xinyue Out from Banwath, and that's off the block, is it? No, it didn't catch any hands. Larson trying to find some fingers to work the ball with. Trying to claw another point back, and Chinue serves again. Movement from Deekson held her opposite number, middle blocker. Yeah, knee that allowed De Larson a one on one through four. So Keisha's in to serve. She'll play some defense. And not stopping that one, Hill. Not really fronting up to Su Ting. That was an easy swing for the number two for China to put the ball away over the top of the block. Oh dear. Well, uh, Shen Jingxi just seemed to uh, stutter. She went to serve that ball up at a mid pause. Made a complete mess of it. A double substitution for the USA. This is part of their plan. They're going to do it with all their matches. Kreklow comes in to replace Low, and uh, Fawcett comes in to replace Glass. Three front court attackers, back court setter now. That's three rotations of that. Another three plus the substitution after that. So nine rotations of the setter in the back row. And that's not the best of starts for Kreklow. Puts her under a little bit of pressure now. She gets ready to serve.
Very nice. And Kreklo not afraid to go to the middle, even well, from the three-meter line. Linking up with Anka Medewa and uh, USA leading 16-13 at the second technical timeout. You can see we really like the matchup on the go. Going at number five, going at number eight. Keep running hard, both in serve, receive, and in trans. Calling for it, too. That call to Alicia is big. If we have to tip, don't go over the end blocker, over the middle, and get two on the ground, and then we're ready for a big or a slide or something. All right, what do we have coming here, Jamie? So far, so good then for the USA. Larson with the serve. We're into the uh, final third of this first set. We've had the two dress rehearsals. This is the real thing now. USA have the edge, but China on the comeback trail. Good serve from China. And Kart still has two timeouts available to him. What a mix up that is. Banwath's got to take it. Lovely swing from Fawcett. You can see that uh, China trying to make it difficult for Hill. The front court swing hitter for the USA. There's no middle coming. Nice set, though, from uh, Kreklo. Giving force it space to use the line. Kinradewa with the serve. Good dig. But it's not quite going to come back, or is it? Oh, no. That's a shame. But they never said I attitude from the USA. Clear for all to see. Chun-Ned, captain for China with the ball. And it's block out for China. They're on level terms. And now the USA call timeout. So Ting showing her versatility, not just a front row attacker, but she can hit the pipe too. Clarified there, and we got a nice angle. We're up really hard. We're spreading them out with that go. And we got the middle open more now because of it, as they're thinking about that. Here we go. Let's go here. Get some! Get Thomas Black having a chat with the setters. Give him some information. Arch looking on. China a level though. The side timeout uh, he's taken will give his team the side out and give them the lead. Oh, that was almost a brilliant pickup. But China reading the situation very well, and they have turned this one round in their favour now, 18-17. After trailing for most of this match, and they find themselves in front at a critical time. 
Well, it's a great block. Hill trying to hit her way out of trouble, but she's having to make some room and leaning to her left. The line was the shot that was available. She didn't take it. Larson leaves it. USA in trouble. Timeout called again. Tight, tight and that uh, wing seems to be bleeding out. All right. We knew at some point they're going to fight back here. We came out strong. They're going to push back. Now it's our turn to push here. Really good call and confirm on the angle here so we can run our USA fast at them. USA! USA! This is a big point now. You know, so you need to side this out to get back to within one. Of course it does it. We can see China's serving's been very good. USA have hardly run the middle. So the double substitution is uh, half reverse. Low comes into the front row. No setter on court for the USA, but Larson's got a good pair of hands on it. But it kind of means there's no middle attack coming, whatever here. China will know that. So they'll be stacking up on the wings. Should the USA make a dig. They make a continuation block. And then they don't need to make a dig because that's gone way wide. And a bit of hard work from the USA pays off. It's level again. They're going to go after eight by the looks of it. Eight, nine of their serving targets. Nice ball set going. Eight, indeed, the target. And it works. A positive set out because the ball's gone to eight over at position one and then passed in front of the setter who's continued the spit of the ball on. It just fell very nicely for the USA. They were stacking out that way. Great play, great call from... Karch Kirai, and now China in trouble. It's a positive set, it was going quick. Cast a low red it, she was up early, knew it was going to be a fast ball. Great block. Chinese fans in, happy to be on the telly. Not so sure they'll be particularly happy the way things have just gone for their team. And now it's China who are feeling the pressure. Force it with the serve. Same target, no middle coming, high and wide here. Chance for the USA and they take it. Dietzen getting her hands on the ball and justifying to anyone who might think otherwise, why she's starting. That is a quality block. And at last, trying to get the side out. Glass comes in, force it goes off. Great serving run from her. Now the USA are going to stack over on this side. Normally Hill would be over where Banwath is and Glass would penetrate from behind her. Glass must make sure she stays behind Hill. She can be in front of the libero. So it's a stack on the uh, left-hand side and watch them stream across. <laughs> Getting themselves in position, so it means Deakson hits a quick ball behind. Low on the half ball in the middle, and then Hill, who's already out there, is a, the release hitter, is up early and able to put the ball away. Hill with the serve. Deep breath from her as she gets herself ready. Just a bit tight. Larson does well to get something on it. Good pick up from Glass and Banwar. What can Dietzen do? She keeps it in play. And keeps it from going back over the USA side as well. Nice swing from Su Ting, putting Glass under pressure. Great rally, and it might be China with a chance here. 
But it's going to be an off-ball. But they make it happen. Shang Chang Ning gets it off the block and out of play. And maybe, when you look back at that, it might have been worthwhile. USA letting her hit it and not putting a block up. That was just a straightforward topspin roll, which would have been picked up by Banwa. Time to miss your serve. USA now two away from taking the set. And what a fantastic, fascinating first set it's been. When you get involved, you can do. Go to the social media, Twitter, hashtag FIVBWW Cup. See what everyone's saying. Have your say. Your thoughts so far on the way this one's going. And a little bit of luck from the setter, Shen Jing Si, setting it towards the net. So if the player missed it, it would go over. Not sure she intended that to happen, though. So trying to get a, to themselves uh, a lucky side out. But the USA, if they side this one out, will have set point. That's an easy serve. And it's punished by the USA. Castello coming in, whipping her hand through the ball to bring up set point. USA with the luxury of knowing that even if they don't make this, they've got a chance from side out to get it done, get that first set in the bag. And just as well, really, wasn't it? Chance for just a look. Doesn't really show much emotion. Well, you'll be feeling the pressure of that, that's for sure. Su Ting for China. Spools from the crowd, the ball goes down. Like Medeo puts it on the floor, and the USA take the first set. That psychologically is huge for the USA, and also a massive blow for China. First set in this best of five is done. The USA have taken it 25 23. wasn't easy for either team. A couple of errors, too many really for China. The key moments that cost them. The USA, you have to credit them, they blocked very well. You see all the coaching staff having their little conflicts because that was so close, that set. There was not really any clear indication to say, do you know what, she's played badly or she's played badly. Or, do we need to change the system? Do we need to change that? I think both sets of coaches are probably thinking, going to leave it as is, because China could have taken that set. There are a few individual errors that cost them. I won't be surprised if they didn't make any changes. Let's have a look at the highlights. Various stats. China's uh, points made up of 14 attacks, a couple of aces, two blocks, and five errors from the USA. But uh, the USA, though, got seven from China, plus 16 attacks and two blocks. That was the difference. It was the errors that cost China. Well, the job is by no means done for the USA, but they know that that was uh, 
a big psychological boost to take that first set. They have met the upper hand mentally now going into this second set. And if they can get an early grip on this one, China might be struggling. All still to play for, though. And it's best of five sets. Counter. Really, I guess China should be looking at this. Is it's kind of nothing to lose. They've already got two games in the bag. Their next biggest match outside of this one would be Russia. Japan, they know, will always be difficult, tricky, but a high power should deal with it. So even if they lost this, it only puts the USA and China on the sort of level pegging. Well, there we go then with the second set. Hill with a serve for the USA. USA leading one set to nothing. China trying to get side out. That's not coming back. And that's a really good start for Kim Hill and her team. Hill once again. Kept in play. Three attackers for Glass to go and find. She gets decent, but she can't put the ball down. And that's a nice wipe. She's teeing off the block and out. Well, a wasted opportunity for the USA. Van Wart did put the ball pretty close to the net. But Glass wasn't able to uh, come in now. There's going to be a challenge here. Ball off the block, but I think they're going to challenge whether or not there was some kind of net touch at some point during that rally. So Karch saw something, or thinks he saw something. Challenge referee, just getting instructions as what to what to look for. Very easy when you're watching the game just to follow the ball. Coaches rarely do that, they know what's happening there, where it's going. And especially with the challenge system now, they're kind of watching all aspects of what's going on on the other side of the net. Just for this particular reason where they can say, oh, I saw that in the rally. Uh, that was a fault, wasn't spotted. But has it been spotted and was it a fault? We're going to find out. So the official review is there is no fault, but that's not what he's looking for. That's just, he's on the saying, it's on the attack, not that particular play. And he did say that, he did make the arm movement for an attack. So a slight misinterpretation of what was required. So they're going to have another look. Or are they? So, a little bit of a delay. I think they uh, are not going to get what they want. And it's going to be served, potentially, or are they still looking? I think they are still looking at it. So, here's the official yeah. review. Block on the net. You're still not looking at the right thing. Block 
on the net. So we still haven't quite found the right point. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the challenge system is a brilliant idea and it's great. But when there's a communication problem, you get this kind of a delay and then it's not so great because you're kind of wondering what's going on. Karch is doing his best not to blow his top here. Karch now being spoken to uh, by the uh, referee delegate from the control committee. So they're still trying to find the right point. And I say there was block touch at the net, and it was uh, rather. A net touch by China, but uh, we've had two no-fault reviews. We are now going to get the oh. official one. So it's that's what they're looking for. Was there a touch here at the net? And uh, no, there wasn't. The net's moving. So we got there in the end. China will serve. Deetson seeing the funny side of it. That one was in the net, and it wasn't touched by the block. So USA 2-1 up. China level. And again, Su Ting is able to go over the block. Such a good leap on her. She touches 327 when she's spiking, three metres when she's blocking. The net's only 224. Castello, another player who can hit from high and hard. She touches uh, 315 in the spike and 305 in the block. Block doing its job, slowing the ball down. Now, what can Larson do? Only a continuation hit from her. Ooh, slight confusion, but Hill has the swing. That was nice. Larson could see that it was probably a ball meant for her, but Kim was in the right place to have a swing. Larson didn't try and get involved, let her have the hit. Yeah, Kimberly Hill with uh, a 50, pumps that ball away, USA up by two. <laughs> Nakamadawo is uh, a very good athlete, great blocker, lovely height, gets across the net. What she doesn't do is watch what's happening. She's not even looking at the ball, she has no clue where that ball is. That can be an issue. And as good an athlete as she is, she still drifts past the point of impact more often than not. Watch uh, Akunedowo here. She goes gone. She's past the point, moving away from the ball. Didn't take away the cross court power. Very nice movement by Akunedowo as she goes round behind Glass. Glass just holding on the ball for that split second enough to keep the middle fixed, and then it's easy for Larson. She had options whichever way she wanted them. And now she has the serve. Oh, 
Well, glass over complicating things really. Simplest and probably the most effective option for her there was to give the ball to Hill. Hill was calling for a, a play as well. She could have gone a little bit quick, would have probably put it down. Trying to force the ball wide, didn't work. All square, five apiece. Nice ball in from Hill. Low getting in on the action on the pipe. Use of the seam in between the two blockers. Good up. Good swing. That's a good mismatch that uh, the USA have, especially if Hills hit smart against Shen Chunye, the captain. She's got better height. That's a good swing right in between the block again. Good seam shot. China have been wary of her serve. And they'll be really pleased to have got off it at the first time of asking. Nakimadawa scored loads of points during this competition with her serve. It's very low to the net. That's a really good swing from uh, Sheng Chengning. going long doesn't matter USA side out they lead 8-6 they lead by one set to nothing keep going with our speed and when you're ready to go fast talk to her give the multiple cadence uh, what do we have Krista you're up I think we're going to dump sub here up here on the other time now so now So changes by China. Ding Xia comes in. Back row setter. Good up from Benoit. And again. Really good play from the USA. And that one's off the block and out. Larson couldn't get on it. Great dig from her, though. And they're making the court seem really small at the moment for China. And a very nice start for number 19, Liu Yanhan, the opposite player, with her first swing. Clever player. Tell you what, Hill played poorly by her own very high standards against Serbia. She knows it. She was substituted out. Kelsey Robinson came in and took her place and played brilliantly. It just wasn't quite enough for the USA to get the job done. But having had that time on the bench, she's come out firing here in this match. Larson also firing. Real steady Eddie performance from Larson. Oh. 
Oh, top blocking from the captain. And worrying times now for China. They call timeout. <laughs> A sense of urgency about Jenny Lang Ping's timeout. There were many people fancying that this was a good time for China to be playing the USA after their two previous performances. But it's China who are struggling here. And all credit to the USA with the way that they have bounced back so far from their defeat to Serbia yesterday. Zutin goes over the top, but doesn't find the court. The timeout has not helped, but there's a challenge coming. Did it touch the block? We're about to find out. As I said earlier, challenge system is a good idea, but maybe in terms of trying to find the best solution for it, you can only challenge the uh, the end point in a rally as opposed to everything that happened in the rally. Or maybe just make it so that it's the last rally. So in other words, once the ball goes over the net for the last time, it's that act, those instances of the ball going over the net in terms of a block and then the attack from the other team. And you only can go back so far because you have a really long rally. That's a lot to go through. And as we saw earlier, if you don't quite, if you get misunderstood what you're asking for, then you've asked for something at the start of the rally and it's a really long one, then uh, there can be issues. But this must be quite close because the challenge system is still yet to make its decision as to whether or not this ball was touching the block. So having a good look at this from the different angles. And the official review says, oh, that's not a touch. I don't think there's no, oh, there's definitely no touch, is there? Well, they're saying that there is a touch. On the as it goes over, it's the left hand as the ball comes over, and Lang Ping think that there was a touch, but it's uh, been been decided that there was no touch. And the challenge system, although the picture on the screen is uh, blown up somewhat, the pictures that the challenge system have to review are very precise, and they are pretty sure that there was definitely no touch. Uh, starting to fall apart the seams here for China. Hill for the USA. Oh, this is not good for China. Zhu Ting, so reliable, such an important player for China. Maybe the pressure's just getting to her. That's two errors in a row. She's way over the top, and look at that glass. is in a really bad position as well, giving up all that line for that roll shot. So the USA get off the hook. There's your error, and there's a chance here for the USA to go further in front. Nice dig. That's better from China. Well, I just wondered why 
Glass didn't go to Dixon in the middle. She's yet to go to her in the middle. Shooting way up over the net, puts the ball down. Nice set for Dixon. <laughs> A nice wipe from Larson. Dixon will be very happy with that. But teams will practice that. They'll train the off-ball situation. Setter not available. Middle blocker having to put the ball up. Keisha is in. Kelsey Robinson. Keisha is a new nickname. Given to her by her teammates. Really nice play. Maki Medewa just up early, leaning back slightly so that she can hit the ball across her body. And a technical timeout. The USA will feel, certainly the coaching staff, they've probably got this second set in the bag here. And what a nice set, keeping us off the net, out of system, so we can get good swings like that from our left and our right side. That's a good work. All right. See how she just leans back slightly, able then to hit the ball over her shoulder. Doesn't drop her left side. Really good swing. Double substitution we saw in the first set, we'll see it in the third. And then he, thereafter as well, Kreklo in to serve, force it in at the net. Very nice serve indeed, free ball here for the USA. Net touch by China. Yeah, neither guilty party. Every time Kreklo's come on, She's gone to Akimodewo for the first opportunity. So Yanni has gone. And uh, Yang Chunqing replaces her, number six, through the middle. Brilliant serve from Kreklo. Zhu Ting is the front court swing hitter on this rotation. And uh, there's nowhere for her to hide. The only thing they could do is take her out of the pass unit, and that would mean that uh, the opposite player, Liu Yanahan, would have to pass. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Lovely set, Ding Xia fooling Larson. And just about got enough on it for China then to uh, have the swing. Zuting to serve. <laughs> Lovely pick up. Not going to make it over though. Really good effort from uh, Lin Yi. Didn't give up on it, but it couldn't be brought back over the net. Larson apologizes for her missed serve. She'll look to make up for it with a good pass. Keisha goes off, Dixon comes on, Dixon goes off. Van Roth comes on. Oh, 
good work from Zhu Ting. Better chance now for the USA. Oh, good swing, force it, gets blocked out off of uh, Zhang Chengning. The late press not working. Good serve. Well, that's what China were afraid of from Akin Redewo. Well, this is a real thumping, isn't it? Just looked up to the scoreboard for the first time. I think the USA players probably haven't actually looked at the scoreboard yet. They're that focused. 21-11. Trying to have side out. But this is definitely going to be 2-0 USA. A team full of confidence is a difficult team to stop. And China are finding that out first hand. Double substitution is reversed as Glass goes back to serve. And uh, Castello comes on to position four. Fucked away by Hill. USA two away from taking the set. Leo Xiaotong comes in to replace number nine, Shang Changning. Another serving target was number eight. That's what this coach cry has been saying. But you've just got a player coming into court, hasn't been on in the match. Got to be worth a serve out there. I was trying to force something that just wasn't available. Glass going to Dixon, who's slightly in front. Have no angle to put the ball away. That's better. Deekson on the slide behind brings up set point for the USA. That point saved. Well, this should be a problem. Glasses back row. That should be surely called as a block. So China take the point, save another set point. USA seem to be drifting off to sleep. That's <laughs> another point here for China. I can't won't want to call a timeout, but he's going to have to when he does. So a bit of a confidence booster for China. They get some momentum behind them. Coach Karch Karai calls the timeout. Zone one here, nice angle, nice hold on that. Everybody's running it hard, and we still like that matchup. You are 19. Getting that high hand is a good thing, too. Just talk to Lisa as you're running that route hard. Here we go.
Just one side out needed. And they get it. Low turns to the line. And USA take the set 25 17. They lead 2 0. So the stats for that set tell you all you need to know. A very good game, only seven errors between them, but look at that USA, 17 attack points and three aces, plus the block. They really did control that game. Hard to believe, really, that China are playing in the manner they are, given the way that they dispatched Serbia. And the way that the USA played against Serbia themselves when they lost, and the way they played against Korea. I know they won 3 0, but they didn't play well at all, USA. It was a rather stilted performance. But what a way to come back at the moment by the USA. 2 0 up against China. And a chance to uh, move up the table into second place, potentially, and into. Uh, an Olympic ticket position if they can win this one. You know, one set away from a, what for them will be a huge win given the circumstances of their defeat to Serbia. Away we go with the third set. China serving. Ding Xia is in, number 16. And number five, Jin Xia is off for China. No other changes. Oh, big block. Dixon again. Combining with Caster Low. Really good blocking from Dixon. Nice pick up from Banwar. Good covering by Dietzen. Lovely, nice fast arm from uh, Castello. Doesn't have a big swing, doesn't open up her shoulders particularly, just comes in and very quick with that swing. Good 
digs both sides of the net. That's too tight. Larson not in a good position to hit, and it's chaos for the USA. Larson obviously couldn't hit it. And that's why she decided to volley it, but I don't think anyone spotted what was going to happen there. Glass was late to react. So it could have been 3-0. It's 2-1. China with the serve. Finds a gap. Good up. Nice play. Larson gets herself in a position to have a swing and puts the ball away. Brilliant work from Jordan Larson, third back. And for all of you budding four hitters out there, just watch this. She gets up, look how quickly the ball's picked up. Brilliant, but look how quickly she's out. She's available to hit. Can get up and put the ball down. So important to get off that net, drive back out to the three-metre line. Give yourself a chance to have a swing. from Alicia Glass. But that's a, a setter full of confidence, finding a hitter full of confidence. Net touch against the USA. Akimadewa, the guilty party. A point from serve. <laughs> Recovering from low. Not such a good swing from Larson. time well, the tip is good enough well, this is a much better effort from China they've come out firing here in this third set they know they had to Karch giving Larson some serving instructions Unlucky play, well, magnificent in terms of the rally in Hill. Somehow got that ball to roll up off the forearm, up over the net. <laughs> Serving target's got to be number eight here for Larson. Indeed it is. They want that positive set out to Zhu Ting, that fast ball out wide. It puts them in rhythm. They are enjoying what they're doing at the moment. The USA, they lead in a technical timeout.
，为啥？这边我们多加两个，给我的。小张，这边你选，再往前送一点，是没事，我全在四。然后，好吧，往前走一点。我的时候，我的时候，有的。这个，这个不怕电池，不怕电池，先撤，先直接打后攻。行，可以，好吧。有，那我来打半套，强行组织，这个名字让我打。有。So China have changed their serve receive unit. They've dropped the opposite player, Zheng Chengli, out of the pass. And they try and deal with this serve from Larson. It works. China have the side out. Good work from Hills, he's over the top of Ding Xia, it's a good mismatch in the USA's favour. Glass making the most of it by going to Hill. When you've got someone like Zhu Ting who can hit the ball so hard, you tend to set, end up setting up further and further back. You look where Castor Lois is nearly on the baseline. And in fact, she's stuck behind her own block as well. I'm not sure that's a great position for her to be in. You needed to have been in that gap down the line to see the ball. That's off the block. And Lowe makes up for not making the dig by putting the ball away. Inside out. Well, the shout of three came a little bit too late for Hill because the roll four to four would have won the point. And Shah knocked onto her backside, double touch against the captain. And the USA have the point. Sheng Chun Lie called for a handling error. Well, that was an opportunity for Larson to get in on the block. You'll say they don't often get three blockers out wide, left or right. But that ball was off the net. A chance could have stopped that cross court angle from being hit. Scrambling around, free ball for the USA. Oh, that's a little late to react, not the best ball into her, so advantage back here potentially to China, but that's too tight. And now the USA have a chance. Oh, good dig, is it coming back? No, it isn't. Su Ting got something on it from Castelo, but not enough for China to put it into transition once again. 12 9 to the USA. Substitution made, Keisha comes in. Decent goes to the bench, this a serving substitution, and then the Hill will go off for the Libera Bamoff to come in after this serving run ends.
from Van Marth, she's uh, making sure nothing hits the floor. That's caught the block, has it? Yes, it has. It's like China was celebrating so vigorously. The ball was long, but it caught the block on its way out. So China are back to within a point. Brilliant. What a pass that is from Kelsey Robinson as that ball hit the net. And the double substitution begins. pressure you know, every time Kreklo's come on she sets it Akumadeo and she continue not with that ball into her she can't so it goes out to force it and uh, China once again now having to find a side out from Robinson that's what she's there for she knows she's not going to get to have an attack potentially so just trying to keep the ball off the floor keep the USA in the rally China though put it into transition again get it done still though can't quite get themselves in front in this third set which is a must win set for them Oh, they want to carry. Karch wanted a massive carry for that. He's really unhappy. And Fawcett goes off the block. Does she know? She doesn't. Now, Larson straight over to say, why was that not given as a carry? It's a one-handed set off the back of a dig. Are you having a laugh, ref? Now play is allowed to continue. That is... Uh, China, who have levelled. No, USA have to remain calm here, get side out. Good ball in. And it's put away. A miss hit from Ekimadeo. It doesn't matter though, even if we had backspin on it, it still hits the floor. Those are always the ones that hit the floor with backspin on them. a great dig from Larson Burback. China have to go again. And Su Ting comes even further inside to hammer that ball away. Trying to find an angle, which she does inside, force it over Dietzen. Brilliant swing. Level again. Good up. Great swing from Fawcett. And really good play from Kreklo. She knew there was nobody at four available to her. Had to go behind. Perfect set. Fawcett puts it away. USA lead. 16-15. They lead by two sets to nothing.
起过王点啊，好吧，啊，你不再高度啊，好，再来回防范一定别注意，好吧，因为他在后面防直线漂亮。啊，因为他打快攻的时候老打不着你，这个时候他打快攻就往前打，不站。好的，好的。好，从他那个前锋后面稍微压一点，好吧？我们强攻保护啊，再两头啊，两头。哎，好的，好。哎，好的，好。再往后一点，之后往前踢点，踢点。哎呦，哎呦，踢了！好，好，好，好，好，好。Fawcett with the serve, blows back into the front row. Once Fawcett's serving run comes to an end, Glass will come in. Lovely combination play from China. Chen Chun Liang puts it away. Three net in the middle of court. Well, I was chatting with the FIVB press delegates. Uh, Wang Jingyu from China, and he'd had a chat with the team before this. And uh, one of the things that uh, was concerning him was the fact that he felt the team were a little bit worried about the USA and their serving and their ability to pass the ball themselves. And it's amazing, isn't it, as that one comes off the block and goes out of play. It's become a self-fulfilling prophecy here for China. A team that had won two matches, a team that were looking really good worrying about a team that weren't playing particularly well and have allowed the USA to play well in this match. They have the lead again. Hill with the serve. <laughs> Dixon stayed down here. Hope she's OK. She's hurt her uh, knee or ankle or something. It might be a knee. Some tears there. Trying to take a few deep breaths and get itself ready to play. Uh, Coach uh, Karai is going to call a timeout. Uh, we have to use a provisional. I'm not sure if they've got any. Substitutions left, the USA. That's all right. We're going to commit to that, just like you did on that one play. Yeah. So we've got this awesome opportunity here. 17 on. We're going to get Tori in here and go hard and make sure we're good on our engagement off block. That means you're working hard so we can get those swings because that off blocker has to commit so much that that's a good option for us. All right? She's landed really awkwardly, hasn't she? As to Tori, as uh, Dixon. And uh, she jarred her knee. I'm just checking. You're only allowed six substitutions. And uh, I'm hoping that he hasn't used all six. We've done a double substitution with uh, Glass, and I'm pretty sure Robinson's been on. I don't think he's got any substitutions left. Well, maybe he has then. Just checking the score as thing uh, to get the uh, substitution done.
And there's still a bit of delay here. As Dietzen's uh, been off and uh, Robinson's uh, come on for her. smile on her face but uh, so play will continue the injury to Deakson allowing for the substitution nice play from Castello Timeout call by China. And most of you are wondering why uh, USA were allowed to make uh, that change. I know they've had six, and Dietzen had come off, and Robinson had been in for it. Because Dietzen has got injured, they can then uh, sub her out, and any player can come in for her. Tori Dixon will serve for the USA. Yeah. Nice touch by Akira Dewo. The pick up from Glass. Larson tries to put some spin on it. Well dealt with by China. And a good play from uh, Chang Ning. Getting that in the seam of the block. Michael Madera once again dominating through the middle. USA know that uh, they just have to keep doing that, keep putting that ball down inside out. They've managed to match China side out for side out pretty much throughout this set. There's no reason why they can't keep doing that. And that helps, although it's off the block and out. It looked like it was just an error. Zhu Ting finds a finger to keep China in this one. Cool, I can do Oh, good serve. Shang Chang Ning gets the better of Kayla Banwa. Not often you see that happen. The Libero's played exceptionally well throughout this tournament so far. And she'll be oh, she won't be happy with that. Timeout caught by the USA. Alright, so one good hold. I like how you're calling that every time. So hold hard, run hard. We got a great up out here with our USA speed against number 16 in the high seat. Here we go. Please, go. USA. USA.
Oh, that was nice. Really nice play from the USA. Just opening up China's defence. The ball in the middle to Castello on the pipe. USA enjoying that play. So too low. Block out from Su Ting. And China draw level again. Important for the USA to remain focused now. Pressure's on them with every serve China put in equally. There is pressure on China when the USA have the ball. This match is finally poised at the moment. And Hill delivers. To put the USA back in front. Getting the better of Ding Xia. Oh, this could be good for the USA. Akimadewo to serve. China do not like dealing with this serve. And Karch knew that was coming. He was screaming at the team that that was coming. And still they couldn't stop Zhu Ting from the ball inside, just over the top of the middle. And it's side out again for China. Ding Xia now with the serve. It's a lovely pass, and a good wipe again from Hill. And she gets the better of uh, Zheng Chunlie, as she did with Ding Xia. We get the feeling this is probably going to go 24 all, and first to get two clear, unless the USA can make something happen here. Glass with the serve. Well, they've got a good touch. They're going to have a swing to bring up a match point. Cast a low. And she has brought up match point. Really good block touch from the USA. And a great swing in transition from low. Match point to the USA. China called timeout. Well, they've worked themselves into the perfect position here at the USA. And what they've managed to do with that swing from Castle o, they have match point, but expect China to side out. What the USA have conjured up, which is worth its weight in gold, is the ability now that they can, if they don't get anything from this service, they've got a side out opportunity to win the match. Glass for the USA. I say, what a swing from Su Ting. Real venom in that, but is it too little too late for China? It's still match point for the USA. And uh, China making a substitution. Off goes the opposite player, and in comes Liu Hanan because she's taller. They want some height at the net to try and stop the USA here. Stacking up over on the uh, left-hand side as well. Dixon, low and Hill. Who's going to get the ball? Well, it's going to have to be Hill for the match. And they've done it! The tip is good enough. The USA have beaten China 3-0. And they are back on track here. This World Cup is wide open in Japan.